Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I promised! I said if we get a win with the Lost, I'm gonna play as the Lost. <laughs> so, here we are. I'm gonna try to get a Lost streak. Who would have thought? Um, the Cursed Room is obviously something I'm very interested in, but cannot afford. Like, on a normal Lost run, as strange as and hypocritical as that sounds, you'd be like, oh yeah, Cursed Room. Like, I might as well try, then I can just restart if it's fucked up. But, um, this is not a normal Lost run. If we restart, we lose our streak, so... I'm figuring that the way this video is gonna end in all likelihood is us dying as a Lost and then playing as a different character, probably just do an Eden run or something like that. Um, but, there is a chance that we could end up having a two-streak as the Lost. And then, who knows, you know, the world is our burrito at that point. Oh, 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 a little scary. So, here's what I'm hoping. It's a very roundabout thing, but this is what you're hoping for as the Lost is you know, nonsense options like this. Uh, we discover that our blue pill is telepills. How we discover this is by taking it after we get our next level. And then we could use this pill inside of the curse room to teleport out. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the timing is going to work on that unless we just get another pill that randomly drops. I should probably just take the pill, but I gotta admit, I'm very scared that it could be a tears downgrade, so... I don't... I don't know if it's worth taking. I mean, you gotta take risks, but... It's a tough call. That's probably our freaking secret room right there as well, isn't it? What if it's Lemon Party? Like, that would be awesome right here. Um, our secret room is probably adjacent to the curse room, which is not all bad. It means there could be a, um, a number of different uh, potential synergies that... Or, uh, like, boss items here that could synergize with us getting to go to that curse room. And why am I so, you know, hung up on the curse room? It's obvious, I hope. You know, the guppy items are the be-all, end-all. Nine lives is why we won the last run. We had to get a run capable of, uh, of winning the game with nine lives and no HP. That part is less difficult when you can take every deal with the devil for free. You, but it does take a special seed, I'm not gonna deny this. Got lucky to beat Larry Jr. here. Larry Jr., when you can fly, is actually pretty dang easy. Magic Mush, I mean, it's fantastic. Oh, I can see forever. The dream. The dream. The dream. Two pills. <gasps> a deal with the devil. Free deals with the devil. Oh, every little thing that you say or do, I'm hung up. I'm hung up on splooge. This is amazing. That's not. Unfortunately, I can't open this until we get a bomb. But we have, uh, we have Goat Head and Pact and Dark Matter. So we just got a huge bonus. Fuck that chest. I'm gonna go. It pains me to say it. I should have looked for the second secret room. I'm an idiot. Here we are, though. This is good. This is great, even. Um, we have to try that room, I think. Our damage is gonna be nice, and all... Oh, we're still good. All floors are gonna have a deal with the devil. Um, and we have precedent already. So, oh my god, that's so much. We actually have, like, a beyond theoretical chance of making this work. If we could just get nine lives early. Range up is fine. Uh, I don't really want to walk through those right now. I know that seems a bit of a petty reason. I think I'm happy with the, the bottle of pills as our item for now. Obviously, there are better ones. Uh, better lost specific items. And I, that is not something I want right there. But it's worth a shot. Uh, I know we have the... Tinted rock, but unless we're gonna get small rock, I don't think it's that valuable. I think we're better off looking for our secret room to try to get into that curse room for free, which could contain another, uh, well, a guppy item. We don't have any guppy items thus far. But that should change. Just not Krampus on this floor. Just let me get either a really good defensive or a really great uh, offensive item from our deal with the devil on this floor. That would give us a genuine chance of making this work. As of right now, we're still in that danger zone where the run could end in a heartbeat, right? Any second could finish this one off. I want a key here. I'm not going to the item room yet. Because I want to... Maybe we don't even want that. I want to go to the shop instead. Where we have a steam sale and we can buy a key. So it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. I wanted to get like a, a better spacebar item, but we were able to buy everything and this opens up the shop to us later as well. You never know if maybe something like the stopwatch will show up. Now I know that we can't get into that curse room through a secret room, so... Uh, lovely. We got E. coli. It's not very useful for us at all. Unless we get, like, Book of Shadows, at which point it could be really useful, but... 
Uh, for now, this is uh, it's a trash tier item, and I'm sorry I wasted a key on it. But our damage is good, and this goat head gives me such like possible chances for success. It's unbearable to think about. This is a uh, you know, it's hard to say if it's a one in a hundred seed right now, but it's like a one in ten seed for sure. Uh, like in terms of uh, in terms of its usefulness, we got another pill coming up. I can see forever. Ooh, baby, that is an eternal heart we can't use, and I'm assuming that it's gonna be down here. Do we really want mom's pearl? I mean, the answer to the question is no. But I'm gonna stick with it. Lockup's good. We're gonna save maybe like three cents. I'll save three cents. That's that's good. We'll stop there. I know we're saving four, but um. And it seems smart for me. We got a luck upgrade out of it, and everything's kind of coming up Millhouse for now. That's five cents. We don't, I, like, it's not like we want a blood bank to show up or anything like that, but... Here's what concerns me. Fear Shot versus Monstro. No! It was so good! I actually, I like, I'm a little sad over that. Um, but that's fine. Okay, Eden... What the fuck? What is this? Transcendence D4. Mickly de Hadvid. I don't know if I can recover on this on this run. Cause I saw, I saw the lost streak at two. And I I said, hey, what's going on? Oh fucking, no 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 no! Don't kill me yet. I'm not giving up yet. But I got to admit, I'm sad, man. I saw the dream. I saw the dream coming, and it has shaken me to the core that I got hit by a fucking monstro. I'm not gonna blame Fear Shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame myself. But I'm mad that I, I didn't compensate for Fear Shot properly. Okay, we're dead. This is fine. New run. Let's do some around the horn, okay? It's my bad. Here's our seed for today. WJ4CM9HQ. That that lost loss has shaken me, but I'm ready. Okay, this is where we're gonna start thinking about a streak again. You know, we've had a palate cleanser, and now we're back. You know, we had a fun win as the loss. That's you know, you don't get too many wins as the loss. So I nothing can take that away from me. Even though we threw in a way that I wouldn't, uh, I, I can't be proud of. But uh, I'm still very proud of the fact that we even got to it in the first place. To play the lost, uh, and and to commit to that. When we didn't have to, I think it says a lot. So I'm happy with myself. I mean, I'm obviously tooting my own horn here, but um, I'm, I'm very happy with the fact that we got that win. Now, let's put that under us as a, you know, renewed confidence, and we'll move on here. What I want to avoid, though, is because I can take damage, taking damage. Let's, let's save that for the times when it's strictly necessary. But man, to come out of that, like, dream first floor and not even get the second deal with the devil... That's gonna stick, that's the kind of thing that sticks with you for a little while, let's put it that way, but, um... Whatever, we can't let it get us down. You know, we're playing as Isaac now. Uh, we're on a cellar. This promises to not, ooh, jeez, not be an easy floor. Already we've taken one and a half hearts worth of damage, and we're fighting the most annoying assholes in the whole game. Which means I would expect that the haunt will show up later. Not the best use of a bomb, I'll be the first to tell you that, but I'm also very happy that we have at least knocked out uh, that pot that that asshole was using for protection. Are you seeing? Okay. Take a deep breath. This is not the first time you've been on this floor. You're letting yourself, uh, and the fact that you had great damage on the last run, cloud your vision of how this run should look right now. Just slow it down. We're totally fine. We have a billion times more HP. I know it's technically like a mathematical on like, lack of definition, but... You have a billion times more HP than you had as the loss. Now you have four billion times. No, it doesn't really work. Anyway, um, it's totally fine. You got nothing to be afraid of. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna get you a brimstone turd. And if that brimstone turd don't smear, Mama's gonna get you a mom's knife, dear. Why not fight the boss right away? Please don't be the haunt. Duke of Flies. Well, I can think of something I would rather um, have used my bomb for than blowing up a pot that ended up being mostly unremarkable, but uh, it's okay. We have an opportunity to use our reroll, but in all likelihood, I'd rather stick with whatever we get here and then be able to use our, uh, our reroll in the item room. Man, I can't believe. I would not have expected that I would have started 
this episode off with me feeling bad about my performance as the Lost. I would have expected that we would have lost. That's like a 99% chance. But to, uh, to end up feeling bad about it is so much worse, man. Ah, uh, oh well. Well, let's, let's start this, uh, you know, streak attempt 89 off right here. Not many streaks have started with a, a recent lost win. We should have just started as Isaac and then been like, well, this streak is blessed because it has a, it starts with a lost win. But I don't know. I, I think anytime we get a lost win, we should try to get that number two lost win because that would be, it's just a novelty, right? There are probably other streamers who have done it, but I am not one of them yet. So to, to be able to do that would be awesome. I'm happy with the Jesus Juice pickup. How could I be sad? Imagine me and you. Jesus juice, I think about a day and night. Well, not really, but it would be nice to get a little extra damage now on the first floor. Adequate together. Help, though. Uh, yeah, that's why. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's uh, lose all of our spirit hearts. This is the sloppiest play next to the fucking, I don't know, the one that they did in Adam's Family Values. That was just the original Adam's Family. Fuck! Such a poser. I got the wrong Barry Levinson film. God damn it. Joan Cusack wasn't even in that one, you scumbag. Come on, give me some red hearts. Give me some red hearts. That is not a red heart. That is my antivirus software. Sweet. And we're good. <laughs> yes, PhD. This is amazing. Speed up is also really good. I'm going to buy a spirit heart. I know. I'm a scumbag. There's no spirit hour for sale. I'm not gonna buy anything. We're gonna leave. Oh, that's a that's another speed upgrade. You know what? I think having two speed upgrades is valuable. Thank you very much. So we're gonna take advantage of that. And we should find a secret room here. If we're already saying fuck it to boss rush, might as well take our sweet time. And we're gonna have enough money to get a uh, an arcade on the next floor anyway. Lovely. And our second secret room, couple of different locations, well actually many, many different possible locations for it, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's down here. Counting Crows style. Oh, it actually worked and it gave us a black card. You could not have basically tailored a better end to that uh, floor than we got there, so I'm very thankful for it. Basement 2, and we've been given like a new lease on life, let's try not to fuck it up as much as we did on the basement 1. All we can do, you know, we can't change that the loss on the lost run. All we can do is start to build back uh, another streak here to make up for it. Lots of HP. A blood bank would be very nice. Real nice. I'd like to, you know, a couple of reasons obviously. IV bag, blood bag, a reroll pedestal, either way. Um, but also to get into the boss trap room would be very valuable. Oh my god. Do we really have to do every single big room? Like, you might think that this is ridiculous, but I actually feel like the big rooms on the first floor are some of the worst in the game. Because you have no damage, usually, or no killing power, at least, when you first get started. So, uh, I actually feel like these are some of the more difficult ones relative to, you know, the ones that maybe you find on the caves and beyond. There are still some tricky ones there, obviously, but uh, I feel like these ones are, these ones are up slash down there either way. Also, really gonna slow us down. Also, really gonna slow us down. It's the number one menace from miles around. Please, if you could just, uh, I don't know, fuck off and die forever, that'd be awesome. This room. This is like the game trolling me for me saying big rooms on the first floor are the worst. It's like, hey, here's a small room. Don't you like these small rooms? I thought that you hated the big rooms, so, uh, Here's, I just thought I'd give, you know, be a nice guy, give you a small room. What's the matter? Am I not being a nice guy? I'm just a nice guy. If you could give me a, uh, give me some props here. I thought you hated big rooms, and I'm like, oh, shut up. I'm telling myself to shut up. I'm also telling the game to shut up, because this is nonsense. My will is broken. We're like 14 minutes in here. My will is not broken. I'm actually pretty pleased with, you know, PH PhD Jesus Juice, and having a, a demon heart here is nice as well. Let's do it again! <laughs> it's like the inverse of the last run. Actually, it might be exactly the same as the last room. With the exception of the... Um, the champions, obviously. Being slightly different. Alright. These one-hitters or two-hitters? They are two-hitters, but I've hit most of them once already. Easy enough. I know we got a lot of poop I haven't shot. Try to make me feel bad about it, you can't. Uh, there's just... 
you know, they've they've gotten poop overload. There's so much poop that I can't possibly care about any of it individually or collectively. I did take the quarter. I'm happy. You know, this is two shop items as far as I'm concerned. It's a coupon for two shop items. Uh, why not buy the piggy bank this early is something that I'll, I'll throw out there. It seems like it's not a bad call. Uh, and if we ever find a blood bank, which is not going to happen here, but maybe soon, then it's not a problem. It will pay for itself eventually at that in that stage. But it, like I just mean that for 15 cents, we don't get 15 cents back. We got like four back or three back. But um, it's nice. It's nice to have. Mostly I'm excited for the deal with the devil coming here. Hopefully going to upgrade my damage a little bit over what we've already got going for us. I will go back and get that nickel. You had to make me fight exactly the same champion version too, didn't you? Just to be like, you know, bad memories. But it's okay. Uh, what do I want here? Well, from you, obviously, like, Magic Mush or something would be great, but another, like, standalone thing that is not as amazing, but could be amazing in synergistic purposes for us would be, like, uh, uh, Caffeine Pill, because Caffeine Pill would give us a pill that we're guaranteed is going to be good, and also another speed upgrade, when we would need, like, no speed for the rest of the game, for sure. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Torn Photo is even better. And we get Moonstar Brother Bobby. So I re-rolled Brother Bobby, kept Moonstar. We got Sacrificial Dagger out of it, which is fine. And now we have to be a little bit tricky. But, uh, I'm, or we have to be a little bit careful, I should say. I'm going to take this. And I may actually make interesting use of the Convoida, I think. Because we can do something with the Converter. We could change our Spirit Hearts into a Red Heart, and then we could re-roll it by buying the Battery after we've taken advantage of the extra survivability we get right here. So it's it's a bit of a tall ask, but I think it's interesting. The question is, do we want to use Converter to give us a second Red Heart, which will put us further away from the Horror Babylon state that ultimately we want to be in to get that damage bonus? The answer is probably not, but I don't know. Maybe. We might just want to reroll the Converter as it sits and save the money, potentially. So this is going to be Larry Jr. We're fast enough to get out of the way of Larry Jr., but sometimes not smart enough to get out of the way of Larry Jr. That's fair. Ooh, okay, lucky us. Gotta kill one, gotta kill one. That guy is good to go. All right. One left is this is the easiest fight in the game, but three of them can be a little tricky. Golden Key is a little bit too little too late, but... Now we cannot use Converter, but I think we might as well buy the battery and reroll it. We're already super slow on this floor. Why not take, like, maximum available advantage that we can get? Sharp plug. Fantastic. We'll buy it. Don't expect it to be useful, but we'll buy it uh, in the hopes that it is. I think that a secret room would be either here or here, but I might be off. Ah, that hurts. Oh, well. Uh, I think we're still in a great position. We're I'm happy as we head down to the next floor, but we didn't gain as much damage as I'd like. I'm very tempted to go to that room. And it's crazy, like, I, I wonder how much of it is psychological. I mean, it's hard to... I don't like to have these discussions. Like, oh, how much do you think of this is psychological? How much do you think is real? Because, like, it, it's kind of a, I don't know, a cynical worldview. But my opinion is that most of that stuff can be solved. <laughs> like, with, with, that, with science and statistics and, you know, analytics and math and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Data, basically, and and expertise. People who know what they're talking about. So I don't want to get in a discussion about like how much do you think is this, how much do you, how much do you think is mental, how much do you think is like, you know, not mental. When there's probably other people out there who could study it and you know do a thesis on it and come up with a more reasonable answer that has a higher percentage chance to be true. But I got to admit that I'm taking a lot more damage now that I have HP, and it's a correlation that is a little hard to ignore at least right now. It's like, you know, am I taking damage just because I know I can afford to take damage? Because if so, I gotta get deep within the dome piece and be like, what are you doing here? Deep within the dome piece is also the title of uh, my rap-based uh, send-up of Marcus Aurelius' uh, meditations. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've gotten a lot of call back from publish calls back from publishers. Uh, I'll mostly no's, but at least they're calling me back, you know? Like, that, I think that's a good sign that they're interested. Just playing hard to get, you know? Print media is in a really good place right now, so they got money to spare. I think they're just making me work for it. They said that I have to give them an advance because they're, they had like a printing issue, but it's, it's par for the course, they assure me, in the in the industry. Oh! That was, um, I mean, the damage I took afterwards makes this sound like bullshit, but that was some of the best avoidance I've done recently. To just wedge myself in that like little corner. Small rock. 
Uh, well, let's be real. The Spirit Hearts are probably pretty valuable for us right now, but I was also hoping for Small Rock because it's got a little bit more, you know, Kaiser Permanente-ness to it. Permanentality? Permanent? Per permanence? Permanence, that's it. Got it. Thanks, English language. Emperor? Death. Ah, uh, we'll save it for a big room. Now we can justify going to the Cursed Room. This is not a big room, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. And oh shit, we got Dark Bomb. So ideally, we lose our Red Heart now and replace it with 12 Spirit Hearts, which I think is a pretty good, uh, a pretty good haul if we can swing it. I don't know if I want to spend two bombs on that, on a chest. Like, it might be worth it, but also might be a colossal waste of my resources. That's not a secret room. I do want to go back for the curse room. Don't question it. That was not very smart. That was dumber. One spirit heart down on this guy is not so bad, though. No deal with the devil. I'll take it. I'm taking it because I know that when we give up our health, we should be able to give up more, you know? Like, we... we Rarely is it like you can only give up one, so... I don't know. I'll admit that it's sloppy play, but I'm feeling good nonetheless. I, I have belief in our Moonstar powers here. Now, our secret room is not going to be adjacent here, so I'm dis disappointed, but... Uh, got a key for a full spirit heart. Got a little bit of extra money out of it. Not a great haul, but it is what it is. We're opening all this stuff up because we have uh, Dark Bomb now, so... Every extra red heart that drops, or every extra chance for a red heart that drops, is incredibly meaningful for us. We're just gonna sneak a little bit of uh, sacrificial dagger damage here whenever we can. Just to speed up the whole process. I mean, this is the whole reason you have sacrificial dagger, and that is a joker card that I am gonna use right away. We didn't get a deal with the devil on this floor, so... Might as well take advantage of it. This is a map as far as I'm concerned. And I don't mind fighting Krampus. We know he doesn't drop Lump of Coal anyway. See what I did there is I used some reverse psychology on the game. Even mathematics and probability is subject to reverse psychology. Most people don't know this. It did not work, but we got a little brimstone. So I guess it's debatable whether it worked or not, isn't it? Good? Bad? I'm the one with the brimstone. I would still like an arcade. So I, I am going to blow up uh, these right here. Well, there we go. We didn't even have to, but it's nice nonetheless. Uh, we don't need a key. We, why not take the pill? Range up. Was it worth it? Absolutely not, but what's done is done. So, we have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil, because we didn't get the penalty for having gotten one or collected one here. I'm happy with that. We have little brimstone. We have a really great opportunity for something like Little Bandage. <laughs> if it wants to. Come on. Come on, you dick. Oh, you fucker. I really... I wanted the battery, but I wanted the golden chest more. But this is... Let's just... Let's just leave. Let's not uh, worry too much about it. Boss Rush is not going to happen. I'll admit, by the way. I, I feel like I played very, very sloppily on this run. But I don't think we're going to be punished. If we are, this is where it's going to happen, though. Because I do not have many Eternal Hearts left, but I really, really want to... Or Spirit Hearts, I should say. But I really, really want the chance to uh, do this boss trap room and be in our Horror Babylon state to get a preview of what it's going to be like in the future. And it worked out fantastically, obviously. We, we got um, Spirit Hearts right here on the room. Which is going to simplify my life to an incredible extent. And now, it's the Little Brimstone show. Horror Babylon, sure. But Little Brimstone is just... It's so versatile. It's going to be very helpful. We can see where we're going as a result of the map. I forgot temporarily that we had picked that up on the last floor, but it's a fantastic little helper to have. Even though when Rebirth first came out, I was like, the new map sucks! It's not as good as the old map. I've come around. Mostly because mapping is uh, more scarce just due to there being more items in the game, but no less valuable. So, uh, any mapping item, although it does less than in vanilla, is worth more, I think. Fuck the secret room. I doubt we're going to find it adjacent anyway, but um, I guess if we don't have a reroll, we might as well wait anyway. Yeah, just uh, waste your bomb. Throw it away. What's the big idea? That is not our secret room, though. So, <laughs> I was right in one regard. 
please. Thank you. Would have been better if we could kill him before you had that little accident there that almost hit us, but it is what it is, and we finished it off easily. We can just leave and come back. Avoid all the riffraff. Okay. Well, we haven't gotten very many red heart payouts. I guess we're hoping for some luck upgrades to swing that more in our favor, but for now, um, let's check out this, uh, let's check out this curse room. Would love to get a head start on Guppy. I would love to, you know, fight some spiders just to get one consumable at the end of it. As long as it's a red heart, I'm not gonna be too mad. Beautiful. Um, what do you think? Maybe a secret room here can save us? Okay, alright. No longer displeased. We even have an extra battery charge if we encounter a room that we're not big fans of. So this is, uh, this is fine. Got two extra cents out of it. Sure, you're right. Why not take Umbilical Cord? I can hear people say, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll make up for that. We'll take it right now. And maybe one day I'll even learn what it does. <laughs> I know it gives you a familiar, but I'm just not uh, strictly familiar uh -huh, with the uh, exact conditions under which it does. Which, that's like, you know, it's a passive monster Manuel, basically. So, and I don't mean a passive monster Manuel in that it's like an extra familiar at all times. I mean, it's an extra familiar in a, in a specific subset of the situations in the game. So, I feel like we're not completely wrong to not know what this does. So, I'm gonna go a little hard here, and I'm gonna try to not pick up that battery, but still get another reroll to use on Box of Spiders. Admittedly, we could have taken Libra, but I kind of don't like it when our damage stat is outpacing everything else. Okay, stars card. This is what I was hoping for, was a good shop, but sadly, uh, no battery. So, maybe we'll get a 48-hour energy. Bad gas. Hematomesis. Full health. Luck up. Luck up's great. Might even be worth the 15 cents, but I don't know, man. I'm going I'm going to make the suboptimal play here. We're just going to fight the boss. With this boss, no, we still don't have enough rooms to get a reroll, so it really will come down to that battery. That was very suboptimal on my part, but we do want super bandage and we do want dark matter. So that's fine. We got lucky. We can pick up our battery and then reroll um box of spiders. Actually, now that I look at it, we might be able to get two rerolls, but it's going to be close. We do want to make sure, if possible, we play our Blood Bank some more. And, you know, Hematomesis could be used for that. Um, full Health could be used for that, but... I don't really want an IV bag, and I kind of don't want a Blood Bag either. So, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Even though Fear Shot was a little bit maybe of a negative part of our last run, I'm going to use it here and be happy to have it, because it is going to give us... Um, it is going to give us a little extra damage. I mean, I think it's plus one damage which is like half of a small rock, which it, the way you phrase that colors it a little bit, but it actually, it, half of a small rock is awesome. Small rock is one of the best, like, you know, easiest to get damage upgrades in the game. No, you know what? It's half of a, a, a curved horn. It's all of a small rock. So we got an extra spirit heart here. We don't need the battery. As lazy as I've been on this run, I'm not going to use our stars card to immediately teleport to the item room to save us a little time. That's too lazy even for me. So we have an extra battery left. Should get down into the Whore of Babylon state again. Can't do it. Just cannot justify it. I like Epic Fetus from time to time, but in a run like this where I'm already pretty fond of what we got going on, I find it kind of boring. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I don't know why I chose to go with that uh, impression there. I'm going to open this door up. It is getting hot in here, man. And not in like a Nelly way. Let's all, you know, get naked and fuck sort of way. Like in an actual, like, it is hot, man. It's a lot of money. I mean, we're, we're back in, like, good territory there after buying so much. I'm trying to think, like, do we want to take hematomesis? Not really. We want to take full health? Not really. So a stars card is actually like pretty useful to drop out of an uh, out of a curse room or something like that. So disappointing that this is all we got here. Um, would have been better off maybe taking the first passive item, but I don't even remember what it was. So let's just get the hell out of here. Disappointing, but it is what it is. We gave it our due diligence, and we can always be happy about that. Very interesting. With PhD, I'm almost thinking we should give up half a spirit art just to see what those are. Uh, and I don't think we would 
probably end up feeling too sad about it. Wow, apparently there's no combat on this floor, so uh, we might as well... Not very happy about that. We might as well just fight our boss right off the bat and see if we get a deal with the devil. My fast and loose, you know, don't have rerolls ready for the boss strategy has paid a dividend so far, strangely enough. Uh, we will... Like, we know what we're going to get from this boss fight. And it's going to be uh, a little gish. I was going to say good, and then I was going to say great, and then I was going to say little gish all at the same time. Didn't come out properly, but... Uh, that's okay. Did I actually walk on the freaking spikes? That lost run, its it, I gotta admit, it's giving me a little bit of a, a, a hangover here, Isaac style, but should be an easy win regardless. I mean, the more time goes on, the easier it should be. It's not really working out like that right now. Emperor, fantastic. Hermit, fantastic. Uh, what do you say we just hermit the frog right now and... Uh, It's, it's an interesting decision. Um, this might well be our last shop. So I'm thinking like blue map plus map gives us a really decent chance of finding out where the, the boss room is. Even without the compass. What do we want to reroll? Well, we definitely want to reroll our item room. What is our item room right now? Bob's Curse. Yeah, that's, that's very rerollable. We can always buy that battery. We'll probably get more money anyway. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Those, and there's the, the story of those pills still, which I don't recall. I'll take anti-grav. I mostly like it. But what do we buy here? Okay, I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to drop these. I'm going to pick up umbilical cord because we're going to want that either way. We'll walk in here and grab that. It's a health upgrade. It's not strictly worth what we're paying for it. But having the health upgrades, even if we don't want them filled right now, is better than not having them. Imagine if we got like a guppy's paw or something like that. If we don't, we don't. But we traded one spirit art for two red heart containers. That's like four times better than the rate you get with the converter. So that's the mathematical argument I'm going to use for that being a relatively smart decision. Of course, on the other hand, we could have just waited for like a single red heart to fall or picked one up from the shop, perhaps, and uh, not lost half a spirit heart in the process or a full spirit heart. I still think it was worth it though. Dude, come on with this horse shit. Okay, tell you what, I'll, I'll stop firing completely. And that's when you start the fire, of course, because God is dead. Uh, what do we have here? Isaac versus Slaw. Uh, another reroll pedestal will be fine. Uh, judgment. Okay. Put Judgment down. Again, very interesting, very tempting. Not sure I can quite go through with it. Try putting some exploders down here, see what we get. Nothing at all? I actually thought that part of the map was a rock on the on the level there. It's not my best performance. Um, okay, well, we're going to have one more reroll ready. Maybe we buy... Uh, blue map, and then we re-roll the other item, and we can always bomb our donation machine to get enough money to buy it if necessary. Just get rid of the magician. I mean, I need to buy a spirit heart or something, honestly, because I'm taking so much dumb damage. We don't get to buy a spirit heart. Uh, if we're gonna buy, if we buy both of these, it's 22 cents, but we lose the re-roll pedestal. So that's why I'm thinking we don't buy the steam sale. So instead, we'll just buy this, re-roll the other one. Turns into Nun's Habit. I don't want it because we have Sharp Plug. I, I love Humbling Bundle. This is a huge pickup for us with Dark Bum. The only question is whether or not we'll actually be able to access the uh, amount of money or get the amount of money required to get it. Oh my god, I bought the pill by accident. I'm so sad. So many stupid mistakes. Uh, I know people are going to be like, well, why didn't you get Humbling Bundle first? Well, hey, smart guy, Humbling Bundle wasn't available first, okay? It was uh, like I, I had to deal with the mathematical realities of our situation. Humbling Bundle was not available before uh, the blue map was available. So I am an idiot, but an idiot who may still well be able to get into this. What do you think? We blow up our donation machine or do we blow up... Oh, we could play our blood bank like once. It's so stupid, it just might work. Child's heart, this is not what I need. But I'll take it, because it's also very valuable. Okay, so there's Humbling Bundle. 
and, you know, also me pissing my pants. But, uh, that's good. Child's Heart should help us. Just don't fucking throw this one. I used the, the language that I wanted to use there. Do not fucking throw this one. This is, uh, this is time for a pep talk. That's also a good amount of money. Maybe gets us a blood bank on the next floor. One of those situations where I think I did the right things, but, like, could have done them a hell of a lot better than I ended up doing them. But here we are, and this is exciting, and fuck the golden poop. That probably would have been a much better way for me to handle that, but it is what it is. We're down to the next floor. We're alive. That's all that matters in some ways. And, of course, in other ways not, but... Um we're fine. We got great damage. Good damage, at least. Let's not go too over the top here. And all I gotta do is not to... Oh, that's so good, too. Now we've got great damage. All I gotta do is not take very much damage on route to picking up some extra HP. We do have an arcade, so I'm gonna avoid that Eternal Heart for now. Which means there's probably a decent chance I just avoid it forever, but... Avoiding it for now... Also, uh, Rings True is a pretty good strat right now. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're gonna try to blow this up in the hopes of picking up a card of some value. The Fool does allow us to get out of the curse room on the cheap, but... Oh, 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 I don't want it. Yeah, we want Spirit Hearts, because we don't want to ruin Horror Babylon State, right. Alright, I got... I want to remember the methodology for why I want certain things on this run. I want HP, but I want them to be Eternal Hearts. Or sorry, I want them to be Spirit Hearts. Because we have Horror Babylon. Wow, that was not my best work. I think the tractor beam pulled those in, unfortunately. Pill is telepills. Interesting. Uh, first things first, let's go reroll this shit item into the greatest item of all time, especially because we have sharp plug and the D6. This is real good. Uh, now, we will take this. We will enter this room. And it's been one of the characteristically worst runs we've ever had for these, but whatever. Down by some secret rooms here. And that is Dark Bomb's time to shine. Come on. Give me another spirit art. Yes. You got one more in you that's speed up, I think. More keys. Uh, gotta check out our shop right now as well. Mom's key. I don't really want starter deck because we have... Uh, we have uh, PhD, so I'm actually pretty happy with the way that looks. And this is our Emperor card. One, two, three. As long as all these rooms have combat, we can get into our uh, boss fight with a reroll. Or, like, we can finish our boss fight with a reroll just in case we snag a deal with the devil. Then we got this Emperor card available to use a little bit later. This is... It's a win. I have guaranteed myself with this Eternal Heart the loss of the Horror of Babylon state, though. So I'm feeling a little bit like an idiot as a result of that. But I'm really, really happy with with the way this floor has turned out. Hopefully we get like a Guppy's Paw or something like that and I can, you know, get a ton of Spirit Hearts, roll around on Invincibility a little bit. There we go. Got a good Sacrificial Dagger play. We're done. We got to deal with the Devil. Take this and one more. Oh, you are far too kind to me, my friend. Guppies. All right. Big disappointment. Luck Up is great, though. We've gotten a lot of those. That will pay dividends later in the game. Tell you what, we have a reroll ready right now. Why don't we take advantage of it and just pop off this Emperor card right away? It's an it's a curse of the labyrinth anyway, so we're not gonna get a deal with the devil. You know what? I this has changed my mind. Now I'm like, we should not do this. Thanks for that. Great placement. Um, we should not do that because it's uh it's so easy for us to get to our boss fights here. Instead, why don't we pop this on the cathedral or even on the chest? And again, you know, at this point, the more HP, the merrier. If we don't find a way to get rid of any of it, we're not going to find a way to get rid of all of it, so... That's not strictly true, but it sounds really good coming out of the mouth, I gotta admit. Okay, so we have we have snatched victory from the jaws of a, an easier victory here. Um, which is great. I'm, you know, not going to disappoint myself too, too much, probably. I'll still be able to look myself in the eye after I leave this episode, even though I lost that run as the lost... Uh, you know, that's to be expected even after those items that we got. It's just heartbreaking because we had a great chance to pull it off. But I know that's going to overshadow the uh, the rest of this run, but at least we did uh, we put down a pretty good time here. Not like speed run time, but we like 
we're gonna win. <laughs> I'm talking exclusively in sports cliches, apparently. Wow, he paid out already. Oh god, run. I don't mind the spider, that's fine by me. So we'll pick up another orbital. Uh, I would expect this to not be too great for us, but it is what it is. And I think we'll probably Emperor as soon as we beat, um, as soon as we beat Mom's Heart. Well, I mean, as soon as we get to the Cathedral after beating Mom's Heart. So I don't really want to use our reroll to reroll uh, an orbital here. We could. I'd rather just save it because I think we're going to take advantage of its, uh, its abilities pretty soon. We're going to be rerolling four items in like less than a minute and a half. So let's just get ready for that. And I do mean less than a minute and a half. Like, this is going to be a pretty quick turnaround. It might even be less than, like, 30 seconds from now. Just make sure we're getting our orbitals to hit whenever possible. Little brimstone does its job, and we head up to the next floor. This is going to be a very quick run. You know, getting to the depths took a while. After that, not very much time at all. Because we're already going to be using this. And, you know, best of all worlds here... We also got um, Curse of the uh, Lost here, which means we probably would have wanted to use our Emperor card here anyway. Thank God we didn't use our Emperor card on the Womb 2. Even though it was an XL floor, I think this is definitely going to be uh, a more palatable situation for me to do that. Just line up as many shots as we can. I do want to hit a little Brimstone as much as possible. There's a little bit of a conflict there. Because the charge is ready faster than the anti-grav shots are tapped out, but... Get as many shots on the field as we can, and uh, actually, if possible, we probably should take advantage of the little bit of invincibility, or like the fact that Isaac doesn't shoot for a while. That's not going to work in that situation because it took too long to start shooting, but um, we can walk into him with Sacrificial Dagger and not be too worried about it as long as he's close. And, you know, we don't get like a full second out of it, we get a little bit of, of bonus time, bonus damage, I should say. Like that would have been if they'd been in the right position. Easy enough, though. All right, down to the next floor. Hoping for overpowered items. Feeling like we got the win either way, though. Curse of the Unknown. We're at full HP. Well, we're not, but we could be. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's wrong to say that I want all of these. All of these are decent enough. Guillotine's a little bit of a risk, of course, but everything else I'm, like, indisputably a pretty big fan of, and also I would be expecting to be able to use my reroll soon anyway because of the fact that... Uh, I have such high luck stat. Probably should have just picked that up because we're uh, we're not in a period where we're going to gain invincibility anyway, and we're already at full HP. I think so. I'm still happy with the way this chest has worked out, though. You know, how could I be mad? It's given me. It, I don't even know how to talk about how many orbitals it's given me because it turned me into an orbital and then also gave me an orbital. I don't know. I guess it gave me two orbitals, but uh, it gave me a little bit of extra damage. Mysterious liquid is is fine. And uh, we got our own little, like, miniature dead bird, although it's actually, like, much better than dead bird, so... I'm happy with that as well. There should be pretty much no way we die against Blue Baby, unless I, like, really, really misjudge our HP and go in for, like, some orbital hits or something like that. Magnet gets rerolled into Stompy. Just a... a colossal disappointment there. That is, uh, abysmal. That's better. A slow is going to help us out. We actually can probably uh, offer to do some orbital damage, if that's the case. Anti-grav is working out just fine. I know anti-grav and guillotine are items that both scare a lot of people. I think guillotine a little bit more warranted. Anti-grav, I think, gets a bad rap, man. Anti-grav is totally fine. Oh my god, I took three hits there at the very end. We're going to compensate there by picking up... The Spirit Art, and I think there were two Red Arts we didn't pick up as well in that room. Yes. So those are going to belong to me, because that's more HP for me. So, um, we won't have any Invincibility. But I'll pop the Devil card right away. I think I might let myself, not let myself get hurt, but like get close. And do some, do some orbital damage like this. And as you can see, our orbitals are doing quite the number on him, but... We really can't afford to stick it out because I, I just, I'm a little nervous about our HP. I think we're fine, but 
we might as well not even give the game like a, a, an honest chance to succeed here. Instead, we'll just win, and that'll be win one in what I hope is uh, a long streak here. I haven't decided on the pattern we're going to use, but I hope you know that you can trust me to not scum the shit out of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode in spite of my loss. If you did, uh, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There, uh, for now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!